Hi you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm finally going to be showing you the full collection Nightmare Before Christmas by Colourpop. Do you want to know what's all inside? Stay tuned. Okay you guys. So I actually had ordered this, well I didn't order this, it was ordered for me by my mom as a birthday gift. My birthday's at the end of October, but with my work schedule, this sat here for well over a month and I've been dying to dig in and play with it. Today all I needed to do was go run to Michael's and get some stuff for a new project and I thought, you know what? Instead of going with no makeup at all, throw some makeup on, do this video really quick so you can finally make yourself look at everything because I haven't even gone through it and I love me some Nightmare Before Christmas. So again, I got the entire collection and this was my gift from my mom. So thanks mom for getting me this entire collection. Most of it I'm probably not going to use as much. If you follow me, you know I'm not into like liquid liners, um, liquid foundations, that kind of thing, but I definitely wanted this entire collection of my extreme love for Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is the quick look that I did create with this. I've went to the store, I've gone to Lowe's, I've sweated all over the place, I've been doing so much stuff, and then I'm like, oh, <laughs> I need to finish this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through this entire collection, I'm gonna swatch everything, and then I will show you how I create created this quick and easy look if you are interested at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and start with, this is how it was, it was kind of just like thrown together in this box, all of the different pieces. I was actually kind of hoping, I was hoping, they would have done like a really cool like PR package, like a complete box, kind of like the Disney Villains one that I purchased. That's what I was hoping to kind of get, but it's just thrown in the box, which is fine, it's fine. But I was hoping for, you know, a better packaging for, you know, like a PR thing that you can buy that has that nice little box and all that together, but they did not do that. So anyway, I'm going to go with the palette first because that's like the most exciting thing about this collection. I would think a lot of people want to know about the eyeshadow palette first, and then I will go through all of this other stuff in here. So this is the packaging and it's super, super cute. I always throw the boxes away, but this one I'm not going to because all of their packaging, it actually is reflective by the black light. So they light up with the black light and I just got done taking all my still shots and playing with the black light with it and it was just so neat. I love a black light. I actually have a tattoo. It's these two fairies and he put in, oh wait, no. Yeah, he put it in my fairies and he put it in the mouth of my pumpkin, which has already been colored over. But anyway, there was some um, ink that would that would actually glow with the black light. So anytime I would go to Spencer's, I would always be looking at them to see, and then you can slowly see it like fading away as you know time went on. They don't anymore. I tried it today. I didn't see nothing glowing in my arm. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. But it's just super, super cute that the packaging does glow with the black light. So I do want to point that out. And the packaging is just super cute. That's why, that's why I said I'm not even going to throw even these boxes away. I'm hanging on to everything with this one. I'm not letting it go. And the inside of the boxes are super, super cute because they're all printed inside. So this box ain't going nowhere. You're not finding yourself to the trash. So the actual package looks like this. So you do have some like glitter and some raised areas that's a different shiny material. Just gives it a little curb appeal, super, super cute. And then the back, same thing, there are some as well. I have used this, I used a few of the colors. When you do open it up, there is a nice mirror up there. These I never keep, um, so <laughs> there, that can go in the trash. <laughs> and then here is the entire palette. I like that there's these like neutral type colors, but then you do have like this fun orange. There's like a brighter, like a fuchsia kind of like pink. You do have like a burgundy. There's a blue. I just like the different colors in here because to be honest, when I knew that they were coming out with a Nightmare Before Christmas palette, I just assumed everything was going to just be bright, bold, way out of my comfort zone colors. And I'm so shocked that I like this as much as I do. Again, I would have bought it either way or received it either way because I definitely wanted this entire collection because of Nightmare Before Christmas. So if I use any of it or not, I was still wanted the entire thing. So here is the palette. Again, I have used it. How I created this simple and easy look 
was really, really simple. I started with like this burgundy-ish color and then I mixed the gray and this kind of color here together just to go in to deepen it up. I used this under my brow bone and on my lower lid and then I deepened it up with this in my far corner. That was it simple and easy and I actually like the way that it came out so let me go ahead and swatch this entire palette for you so you can see every single color okay so here is the entire palette and that's one thing ColourPop has really nice soft buttery powders so I wanted you to see the palette before I stuffed my fingers in there because now like you can't really see you know you can tell that it's not a big snowflake anymore <laughs> but here is the entire palette swatched So see you have this like bright orangish color here that that's definitely if you want to add a pop of fun color but all the other ones look really really nice even this gold i was afraid of but it doesn't look too goldish on my skin so i'm really pleased with this entire palette to be honest so there's that <laughs> and i really like the grays and yeah just like the grays and then like the dark charcoal colors mixed with that like burgundy color it just looks so so pretty and i'm pleased with how my eye look came out so there you go again there is the entire palette oh this one color right here though it has a shift it's really really pretty it's called frog's breath so it looks like a like a gray, but that shifts to like a purple. That's this color. Ooh, I stuck my finger in the other one too. It's this one right here, right here. But it does it does have a nice little shift to like a gray to like a burgundy-ish color. It's really really pretty. I'm really excited to use that color next. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this palette. And it's Nightmare Before Christmas, so <laughs> of course I had to have it anyway. Okay, so now let's go with this Trio of Terror, and this is the Jelly Much Shadow Trio. The packaging is super cute. Again, everything lights up with the black light, so this is like a bright orange and bright pink, and then you just slide her out. Inside of the box is the same thing. It's all decorative, super cute, and then here are the three different Jelly Much Shadows. So let's start with the first one. This is Lock. And when we open her up, ooh, she is like a purplish color. Let's get that swatched. Ooh, that is so pretty. It's like a really, really dark, almost like a charcoal grayish, but it has like a purple undertone that has even like a little bit of blue. That is just a really, really pretty color. I like that color. Look at my finger. I love that. At first I was like, oh, okay, this is a dark purple. Oh no, it is more than just a dark purple. <laughs> it's like a purplish, bluish, dark grayish charcoal. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Wow, I was not expecting that. So let's get with Shock. Shock will be right here. And she looks like a bright pink. And her is, there's Shock. I'm a little shocked <laughs> and it looks just like it does in there just a bright like a magenta pinkish bright pinkish kind of color i don't know how much of that one i'm going to wear again i really wouldn't care if i didn't wear any of it <laughs> i just wanted it <laughs> so let's get into the last one let's check out barrel oh here's what it looks like and what are you Ooh, she pretty and it looks like that might shift colors too, but that's what it looks like inside of the packaging. Oh, wow. Okay. It definitely does shift. I'm even kind of seeing like a slight bit of like a bronzish, bronzish, like a bronze goldish with like a hint of almost like a green hue, but it has like a brown and like a taupe color. Holy moly. There's like a lot of different colors going on inside of that one, but it's super, super pretty. So there's my finger. But you can see like it has like this brown on the outside and it's more of like a taupe on the inside, but then it kind of gets like a copper shift and a slight light greenish color. That is gorgeous. Okay, so two out of those three, I'm really loving what the colors look like. How I'm gonna use them, I don't know. But those, oh, look how shiny she is. Those are really pretty. So there is the trio of the Jelly Much shadows 
So now here is the Zero Face um, Sponge. And again, I don't use liquid foundations, so I'm probably not going to use it, but I needed it. But here is what it looks like. I don't even know how to tell if it feels good or not because I don't use them. <laughs> but there is Zero right on the front. And when I did put this to the black light, to my recollection, Zero on here did not glow. It was just like the packaging was glowing. And same thing on the inside super super cute i love love the packaging though so you do have the sponge it just says detailed blending sponge now inside of here it's a cute little odd shaped <laughs> box and this one says master of fright glitterly obsessed glitter gel now you guys, I'm gonna have to look and see, or maybe one of you guys can let me know if this is like I kind of like friendly. I think it was in my villain Disney Villains set that I tried on every single collection in there. And I used the, the glitter that was in there and I put it on my lower lid and somebody had commented that it's not meant for your eyes and don't use it for your eyes. So then I kind of got scared and I'm like, oh crap, okay. So I stopped using anything that looked like that on my eyes because I don't know. So let me know if this is eye safe. If not, I might have to go to their site to see if it's eye safe to know if I can put it on my eyes lids or if it's just for your face and then I need to keep it away. <laughs> I always smell everything, but that is a really pretty, like a lavender color. Oh my goodness. If you could put this on your lower lid, it would probably look super, super pretty. Adding this, like the, the little lavender glitter to it, that would have looked super pretty. It has like little big chunks and they're like opalescent, so they do turn colors as it hits different lighting from like purple to blue to pink but it is a clear but then it does have the chunks of glitter down inside so i just need to know if it's eye safe to know if i can start globbing it on my eyes <laughs> but there's that and again it came in this box same thing on the inside one thing that i'm not going to open because i don't know how i'm going to use these i might actually use these more for like crafting or journaling um in my scrapbook something like that but uh these are individual crystal sheets there's 72 different crystals and they're all different shades of colors they're super pretty but i just don't know if i'd put them on my face you never know maybe one day i'll get ballsy and and i'll try something <laughs> you never know but at least i do have it in the packages was really cute how it all lit up with the black light but you do have that whole sheet there so there is two liners and then there's three different lipsticks to complete the collection. So the first one will go, it says Scream Queen. And this is the BFF Liquid Liner. And it's Sally Scream Queen. And then I believe one of these is black and I believe the other one is white. I don't use liquid liners to begin with, um, but if I did, I would use black. But white, I guess that's really neat because I think that's, I guess that's a neat color. So when I get ballsy, maybe I'll get ballsy with that too. <laughs> but here is the package. So I like that it has like these little skulls all over. I love skulls. But then when you open her up, that is what it looks like. A nice little fine point. And yeah. So you can go fine to thick, depending on how you want to do it. It's just how much pressure you put on there. So you can go thinner to thicker. But that is really neat. Again, one day I need to learn how to use them and play with them. One day, but just not today. So then Jack must be the color in white because I remember one of them being white. But here's the packaging and it says Pumpkin King. And there's this one. Yes, so this is the white. I don't know if you're gonna be able to, actually, yeah, you can see it on my skin. Again, one day. I will, I'll, I'll end up playing with it <laughs> one day. <laughs> okay, so for the three different lipsticks, they come in these little cute packages where it has this where you can hang. So if you wanted to put them on your Christmas tree as ornament decorations, you most definitely can. But this is just the package where the lipstick goes down inside of here. So we got Oogie Boogie and we'll see what color you are. So here's the packaging. Oh, so Oogie Boogie's on it too. That's super cute. And I like the skull, but it looks like a snowflake. And then when you open it up, ooh, it's like a nude color and oh, how cute. There's snowflakes and there's skulls on the side of it. I'll have to put in a better video so you can see 
the the detail around the lipstick but that is super cute that they took the time in engraving that it's actually out it's sticking out past it but let me swatch this for you i'm gonna have to go to this hand because this one's a little occupied so that is what it looks like it looks like a really pretty nude let's get her on how it kind of smells good I don't know how much I would wear because I like more of a darker color if I do wear anything, but I think it's almost borderline where it'll look okay even if I so chose to wear it. I don't think it's too, too bad, but there's that. Next up, we'll go with <laughs> Jack. So it's Jack and Zero on the front. Same thing applies. You can go ahead and hang it like a little ornament if you would like. So that's what the front looks like. Are you white? Oh no, oh no. You are a red, look at you. But I do appreciate that it looks like it's more of a burgundy red than like an orangish bright red, you know what I mean? I'm more into like the bur, you add a little bit of burgundy or plum in it, I'm, I'm a little bit more okay with it than, oh, it looks a little more fuchsia on my skin though. <laughs> um, but let's see what it looks like on these little things. So, whoa. <laughs> She's bright. So there's that color. Again, there's that. Definitely does not go with this eye look, but if I so chose to use that bright orange that's in that palette, I bet you that would look good with it because, let me see, it's over there. Does it, does it, does it? I think it would. I think it would look a lot better with that one. But here is the red. And then the last one is Sally. So that's what the packaging looks like. It's all hot pink on the other side. So is it gonna be a hot pink color? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. So there's the packaging. That's like a fuchsia. But same thing, it does have the same skull with the little snowflakes that go around it. All three of them had that. But let me swatch this. Oh, wow. That is like a bright Barbie pink kind of color. Let's get it on. Now she's bright. On a bright, bright, sunshiny day. <laughs> there, that, that, that's bright. So there are all three of the lipstick colors swatched. I kind of wish this browner, neuter one was a little bit darker. Um, but again, I probably won't wear them, but I definitely wanted them. Why? For the collection. <laughs> so there's a Sally. So that completes the entire Nightmare Before Christmas collection by ColourPop. You have the three lips, you have the three different Jelly Much shadows, the glitter, the two liners, the entire palette, and then you have the sponge and the little doo -doo -doo, the little jewel, the little bejewel thing so you can bejewel your face. Today I'm going to use the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. I'm super, super excited. I'm going to use something simple, my comfort zone. I'm going to use like the mauves and the gray colors but you do have a pop of color in here which I do like so you have options <laughs> I love options so let's go ahead and get started so I can get my butt shopping and get back and I have a lot of stuff to do on my only days off like that is like my days just to catch up and do shit so let's do shit today <laughs> Let's get it on. Oh, one thing there's not is like a white cream color. So let me go grab my MAC Vanilla that I always start with when a palette is like this. So hold on. Okay, so I'm back with my MAC Vanilla. Oh. Let me add, let me add a little zero. I forgot for my, under my brow bone, I always do that first. Then I go in with my first color so I can blend that out when I get up there.
And you guys, when I go like this, I'm not like pulling on my skin. I know I get a lot of people that tell me you're gonna get wrinkles, which is fine. I'm 41, I'm gonna get wrinkles. It's called aging. But I just apply a little tiny bit of like resistance so I can get in. If not, I have little lines and it just looks like tiger like stripes or something. I don't know. And it doesn't blend in like seamlessly. So I have to do a little tiny resistance. That's my own personal thing. You don't got to do it. I have really hooded eyes. So I do what's best for me to achieve my own look. So I'm not pulling hard. <laughs> Makeup is like an art. You do it the way that you want, however you're comfortable with, and I feel there's no right or wrong way. Just do what makes you happy. Cause I'm happy. Then I'm gonna go back in with that burgundy color, the Dear Friends that I used first, just to kind of go back up here, add a little bit, and then I kind of break up these two color colors like, like a so, see? It's just what I always do, I don't know. I'm gonna go in with zero for my lower lid. Now I always go in with the darkest color in the palette, even if it's black, the darkest color, and I just put in my corner. So today I'm gonna go in with this color right here, and that's Halloween Town. This I do pull more. <laughs> Cause I wanna get right in the dead corner. And then um, the last ColourPop mystery box that I got, I got this mascara. And in that video, I told you guys that I'll try it, but I wasn't too excited because the BFF mascara that I got from ColourPop, I honestly do not really like. I've used it a few times and I think I threw it away. I just didn't like it. I wasn't using it. It just kind of was too clumpy. I just, I just didn't like it. So I said I would try this one out, and honestly, I've been using this one almost every day lately. I actually do like this one, and this is the Act Natural Defining Mascara. So I like this one way better than the BFF, let me tell you. So mascara time. Something that I normally don't do, but I will go ahead and do, I'm gonna go in with In My Bones, that gray color, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line. And then the mauve dear friend in the front. I see you looking at me. <laughs> so there you go. Very simple, very easy. I do like these two color combinations together, like that burgundy-ish color with the gray. I think it looks really, really good together. I don't think those are two colors that I actually put together before. So I'm actually digging it. What do you guys think? So that is everything you guys comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of the collection. Did you purchase anything? Did you want to? Did you know about it? Do you want to get it now? Comment down below and let me know your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty Crew out.